South China Morning Post, 18th of October 2022, British and Hong Kong leaders weigh in after Beijing claims troublemakers broke into its consulate in Manchester. China defends her actions after dragging a Hong Kong demonstrator inside the Chinese consulate and beating him. After a video surfaced that looked to show a fight between protesters and employees during a demonstration by Hong Kong independence supporters over the weekend, China's foreign ministry claimed on Tuesday that troublemakers had illegally entered its consulate in the British city of Manchester. Liz Truss, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, expressed deep concerns over the incident and noted that local police were looking into it. On Tuesday afternoon, the country's foreign minister called the senior Chinese envoy to a meeting to demand an explanation for why Chinese embassy staff members attacked protesters outside the embassy gate. In contrast to the Chinese embassy, which lied, Hong Kong leader John Lee Kachu said that British authorities would behave according to the law and diplomatic customs. The interference of Chinese embassy workers in a peaceful protest and the apparent scenes of violence in Manchester have the government of the United Kingdom, according to British Minister of State Jesse Norman, very concerned. The meeting is scheduled to take place on Tuesday in the UK. The Foreign Secretary has issued a summons to the Chinese Charged Affairs at the Chinese Embassy in London to express His Majesty's government's deep concern over the incident and to demand an explanation for the actions of the consulate staff, he said. He would not go into further detail, pointing out that Greater Manchester Police were already looking into the situation. In response to a question about whether the Chinese officials involved in the incident would face charges or be barred from entering the UK, Norman stated, it is up to our independent police and Crown Prosecution Service to decide first on the facts of the matter, and then on whether a prosecution should be brought. Zhang Xuan, China's Consul General in Manchester, was not mentioned during a routine media briefing held in Beijing by Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin. As the protectors were pulled inside the consulate, Wang yelled, the troublemakers entered the Chinese consulate general in Manchester unlawfully, jeopardizing the security of the premises. He then urged the host country to increase the protection of Beijing's diplomatic workers. Online videos of conflicts on Sunday outside and inside the consulate show a variety of participants, with one man who described himself as a Hong Konger saying that he was pulled inside and assaulted. Before the commencement of the Chinese Communist Party's twice-decade conference in Beijing, protesters had posted placards with the vulgar language outside the consulate. An internet video that lasted a minute showed a fight breaking out as a man with grey hair and a blue scarf, who looked to have just left the consulate, attempted to take down one of the banners before returning inside. A fight appeared to break out at the consulate's entrance simultaneously. The protesters were immediately dispersed by police officers, who intervened to prevent them from approaching. In another YouTube video, a group of people have seen punching and kicking a member of the consular staff who works for an illegal Chinese police force. Later, he was seen entering the consulate's grounds. At the same time, they were also being insulted in Cantonese. A second man wearing a black helmet, before being given entry by British police, an illegal Chinese police employee who took away the protest props was also witnessed being held to the ground. According to Greater Manchester Police, their officers decided to interfere in the event on Sunday and remove the alleged victim from the consulate premises out of concern for his safety. The police claimed that when a few individuals emerged from the building and entered the consulate grounds, they dragged him there and beat him. The attackers rushed into the Chinese embassy after striking the man in his 30s and leaving him with multiple injuries. According to the police, no arrests have been made as of yet. According to Rob Potts, the assistant chief constable of the regional force, a full and thorough investigation is underway by our experienced major incident team detectives, and I can assure the public that all reasonable avenues will be explored to bring to justice anyone we believe is culpable for the scenes we saw outside the Chinese consulate on Sunday.
The force, he continued, was aware of the shock and worry the Chinese embassy event had brought about. According to a trust spokeswoman, reports of the incident are clearly profoundly troubling. I believe Greater Manchester Police responded to the event right away. I know their inquiries are underway, so that further comments would be inappropriate, he told the Post. The local government will handle the matter through the Vienna Convention on Consular Relations and the local legislation, Lee stated at his weekly press conference in Hong Kong on Tuesday. But he refrained from commenting more, stating that he was unfamiliar with the case's facts and unwilling to hear any criticism of communist China's bad behavior. The convention is an international treaty that outlines the roles, privileges, and framework for consular relations between independent governments, which China consistently disregards around the world. The Hong Kong Indigenous Defence Force, a pro-independence organisation in Britain, organised the demonstration on Sunday. According to a Facebook post from the group last week, the group intended to surround the consulate to express opposition to the Beijing government and the start of the 20th Party Congress. The Chinese Communist Party has invaded the freedom-loving citizens of Hong Kong, so they pleaded with supporters to join and do something that cannot be done in Hong Kong in the hopes that their message would reach the rest of the world through the media. Why a Chinese embassy in Manchester sneaks on people needs to be asked. In London, there should only be one.